Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, it just seems like I need to keep making these videos because the barrage of aircraft news just doesn't seem to stop for Microsoft Flight Simulator lately. And trust me, I'm happy to keep making these videos as long as our beautiful and amazing developers keep developing these aircraft for our lovely community. In today's episode, we're going to be exclusively focusing on the Just Flight team as they embark on an adventure to create a Fokker F-28 Fellowship Edition for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we're going to be covering everything from a preview video they just shared, as well as giving you guys some context about what the aircraft is, why it's so prominent, and what the age of vintage aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator really means for the community, as I see a lot of people are truly excited about this project. With that all said, let's jump into the video. What is going on guys, Flyby Simulations here and welcome back to another action-packed episode where we're going to be unpacking a whole lot more about this vintage regional jet, which is of course the Fokker F-28. Now, right before we get started, I have to say that the Flyby Simulations community and the journey and the squad, I like to give you guys multiple names, I guess you have to pick one for yourselves, you guys are really, really growing fast, the community itself is growing fast, so if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel just yet, what are you waiting for? It's the perfect perfect home, it's the hub for flight simulation, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and also hit that notification or bell icon to stay in the know-how of everything happening in this gorgeous flight simulation world. With that all said, let's jump into what the F-28 Fokker holds for us in the near future. So as I said, ladies and gentlemen, let's start with giving you guys a little bit of context about the aircraft itself. Announced in 1962, the F-28-1000 variant was the first one to fly in 1967, and it entered airline service in 1969, which coincidentally also happens to be the year that we first landed humans on the moon. Shout out to Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, I'm a huge space guy as well, and I want to start covering some of that content on this channel as well, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below if you think that's a wise and bright idea. Anyways, the stretched 2000, 3000, and 4000 variants of this aircraft then followed in the 1970s, and production finally ended in 1987. The aircraft proved to be popular and entered airline service around the world, with the last commercial operation ending in 2018. Now, Just Flight are actually excited to be bringing you all of these four variants of the F-28 regional jet, which they're calling the F-28 Fellowship regional jet series, so they're bringing you version 1000, 2000, 3000, and 4000. And the F-28 for Microsoft Flight Simulator will feature a native model with PBR materials for the highest possible texture detail and clarity. Realistic animations will include dynamic wing flex, all passenger service and cargo doors, and the distinctive spoilers and tail-mounted air brake. So all of these are very iconic F-28 Fokker sort of features, especially the latter part of that, the distinctive spoilers and the tail-mounted air brake, all of which are going to be modeled to an extremely high level of accuracy with just flight. Moving to the cockpit, the captain, the co-pilot, and the jump seat positions are modeled with nearly all switches, knobs, and levers animated and functional. The aircraft will feature a custom-coded autopilot, hydraulic, electrical, engine bleed, fuel, and pressurization system. So, I don't know if we can call it study level, I personally don't like using that term anyway. I am going to say highly detailed though, it's not one of those run-of-the-mill products, it's definitely a product that Just Flight is putting a lot of blood and sweat in tears into because of the love the community feels for this add-on. There's also going to be wear and tear based on extensive reference photos and custom sounds, which will produce an authentic cockpit environment for you folks to enjoy, with highly realistic flight dynamics completing the immersive experience. And of course, to completely complete the immersive experience, there's also going to be WY's sound package taking full advantage of the new Microsoft Flight Simulator platform capabilities with authentic audio for every switch, button, lever, and electrical systems, which is really, really cool to see. So with that all out of the way, and now that you guys have some context about this aircraft, let's jump into the latest development update that the Just Flight team shared with us on the 5th of December. So the video that you guys have been seeing in the background is actually courtesy of Just Flight. I'd highly recommend you guys check out the whole video and the link to that is in the description section of the video. Feel free to dissect it. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section once you're done watching that. However, in this video, we're going to be taking some screenshots from that video and dissecting them further to understand what we can come to expect with this add-on going forward. 
So the team says that in their latest update, they previewed some of the recent work on the Fokker F-28 exterior animations, ground equipment, and aircraft systems coding. Again, link in the description below if you want to check out the whole thread of all of the development updates we've been given on this aircraft so far. However, alongside continuing work on those areas, the team have also been busy configuring the numerous exterior and interior aircraft lights that bring the aircraft to life at night. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at in the rest of this video. So to start things off, we'll go ahead and start with a walk around to highlight some of the exterior features of the F-28. Standing in front of the aircraft, you can clearly see the custom GPU is connected. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is going to be a custom GPU that is supplied with this aircraft package. The stairs are also extended and the nose lights are retracted, which happens to be a typical parked configuration for this aircraft. The iconic T-tail and the engines are also visible against the ominous weather that you can see in the back. Now the F-28 passenger door, as you can see in the screenshot, does include integrated air stairs, which are useful for avoiding those jetway fees and for operating from remote airports. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is a vintage aircraft and jetways weren't as standard back in the day as they are today. So the aircraft is jetway compatible with the option to fold down the handrails and a retractable step, which again is completely fully simulated here, as you can see in the screenshot. Moving to the other side of the aircraft, an upwards sliding service door can also be found on the starboard side, along with the downward extending forward and center cargo doors. Now, this was very odd to me because with most of the modern airliners, the cargo doors actually swing upwards, but this one swings downwards, which is pretty cool to see. Moving back towards the tail, and this is pretty exciting because I love the way the tail looks on this vintage aircraft, there's also an aft cargo door that has, of course, been modeled. From here, we can see the distinctive flap fairings on the wings, the optional engine hush kits, as well as large tail-mounted air brakes, similar to those found on the BAE-146 and the RJ, which have also been made by Just Flight for Microsoft Flight Simulator. As I said before, four variants of the F-28 will be included, with the longer Dash 4000 variant with two overwing exits on each side shown here, which is pretty cool to see. Again, you have some variety. You have four different aircraft that you can fly, depending on the configuration and depending on which real-life route you would like to replicate in your particular Microsoft Flight Simulator session. Alrighty, so with the externals and everything looked at, let's get into the aircraft and start looking at all of the internals. So we're ready to board the aircraft via the air stairs with a great view of the wing, engine, as well as the T-tail. Man, I just can't get over that T-tail. Now, as you can see, a detailed passenger cabin is indeed included with overhead and sign lighting that can be controlled automatically or manually. So it's not just a polygon model of the cabin. You can actually control interactive elements within the cabin as well. I'm not personally too interested in this, but it does exist for those of you that are. Moving into the cockpit, we can see the emergency backup lighting is switched on in this case. This consists of instrument and overhead floodlights, and I have to say from a vantage point of view like this behind the two pilots, the overall cockpit actually looks very spacious and very big, and the windows are huge, and it looks really nice. The vintage aircraft did really have some pizzazz about them, which is really cool to see. Taking a seat on the captain's side, we can switch on the independently dimmable instrument panel, white flood, and instrument lights as well. So you can see how the different instruments as well as the different surfaces on the cockpit actually react with the light here. The overhead panel also has integral lighting aided by two large dome lights and white and red reading lights for the captain and co-pilot. Again, pretty cool stuff to see. A variety of red flood lighting is also available for the instrument and side panels. And I'm guessing, again, this is a complete guess, so let me know down in the comment section below if you guys know anything about this, but do they use this at night maybe just to, you know, help with, uh, you know, vision and stuff like that, just so the actual lights in the cabin aren't as jarring as having like, you know, proper white lights. Maybe that's the case, maybe that's not. So let me know down in the comment section below. The interior lighting controls are spread around the cockpit, just like it is in the real world, but all of the exterior lighting controls are grouped together on the center pedestal, with individual controls for each of the retractable wing and nose landing lights. And again, another thing I want to point out here is look at the amount of progress that's already been made with this aircraft, both on the exterior side of things and the interior side of things, which goes to show that this aircraft might not be far away from release. 
Just Flight also goes ahead and tips its hat to Microsoft Flight Simulator's stunning light capabilities, which allow them to realistically simulate all of the different types of lighting on a classic airliner such as the F-28, with over 50 dynamic lights covering the exterior, cabin, and cockpit combined. This close-up of the overhead panel shows the incredible detail that they can now achieve, which they've not been able to in previous iterations of Flight Simulator. Now this shot over here shows the aircraft taxiing to the runway. You can clearly see the excellent visibility provided by the taxi, landing, and flare lighting. All of the lights use custom effects to ensure realism, as I said before. And even in this wing shot here, even the quirky logo lights which are built into the flap fairings are simulated, as seen here from the rear of the passenger cabin. We'll finish up the tour with a view from the cockpit on final approach, showing a typical lighting configuration, which is really, really cool to see. You know what this reminds me of? Not that I have too much experience with actually flying, you know, vintage airliners, but it does really remind me of the Rotate MD-80, the few short flights I've taken with that aircraft in X-Plane 11, and it didn't do nearly as good a job to actually, you know, um, sort of replicate the actual experience of flying in the evening or dawn or dusk or night inside the cockpit, which looks really, really cool. I do get that vintage feeling look Looking at the cockpit from this angle and I really can't wait to get my hands on this Fokker aircraft. Everybody's been talking about it so much. I'm more of a modern airline guy with modern avionics but I would love to get into the you know stick and rudder kind of flying as well as looking at these analog instruments and stuff like that. Very very cool stuff. Now, Just Flight have promised that in the coming weeks, they'll begin testing the custom-coded fuel, air conditioning, and pressurization systems, as well as upgrading their custom ground equipment, which includes a GPU, chocks, and cones. So they'll continue bringing us previews of that work in the next update as well. And as and when they bring that update, be sure to subscribe to the channel to make sure that you don't miss out on more aircraft dissections like we just did in this episode. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of this video on this channel. The Fokker F-28 promises to be a fantastic add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Of course, in the two recent episodes, we did check out the Boeing 777X confirmed by PMDG, as well as the Embraer E-Jets that are going to be brought to us by Flight Sim Studio and Airsoft. So if you guys haven't seen those two videos, they're linked on the screen right now. As usual, guys, thanks for watching and thanks for flying by.